I'm not just going to ignore him when I see him, am I? After what he did, he doesn't exist. Why is he still here? That's what I don't get. I know you're not big on second chances. I'm not big on anyone who tries to work my family. He is your family. Mm. He's your half-brother. Yeah, on paper. Which, like it or not, still counts. If you ask me, he's lucky to still be walking. The old you would have proper done it. Yeah, and I prefer the new you. The one who wants to be here and not back in prison. Well, he knows there'll be consequences if he stays. Yeah, but you're speaking for everyone. What if some of us actually think he does deserve that chance? Why are you backing him? I'm not, but I know how this family works. And it's usually the majority who decides how it goes, ain't it? Is my stuff still here, or did you get rid of it already? Didn't know if I'd have to raise a white flag again. Well, you've not thrown that at me, so... Yet. Note to self, bar Caleb and throw a bottle at him. No, your stuff is still here. After yesterday, I was hoping that... What, you thought you'd talk me around? <laughs> I'm a long way from being talked around. Yeah, I know. And I get it. But, you know, if I don't try to put things you right You do realise that from now on, everything you say just seems... empty. No, you know what? It's worse than that. Chaz. It's like you're selling something, you know, selling yourself. Seriously, right? Meeting you, for the first time in my life, I felt a connection to my mum. Our mum. Right, and um, that gave you something else to think about while you were waging your silly little war against your evil stepmother, did it? No, I am not selling anything, all right? I'm telling you as it is. What I've done, it was only ever about Kim. And I hate that anyone else, anyone else that I love, had to be involved. And I hate that I might lose my sister over it. But what was happening over there with Kim had zero to do with what was happening here with my family. Because that's what we are, Chas. We are family. Look, if you meant nothing to me, if all of this meant nothing to me, I'd be gone. Why would I stay? Have you found your son yet? No. I've started a lot of fires and I can only put them out one at a time. <laughs> what? Well, you might get your chance to fight fire sooner than you think. Kane's called for a dingle court later. Now, we might be family, but if they vote against you, you no longer have a sister. Not often we're all in one room together like this. Mm, barring weddings and funerals. Funeral might be on cards. Well, I think we should just get on with it. Uh, Ken, you wanted us here, now spell it out. Well, it's quite simple. Caleb, he stays or goes, show of hands. Well, it's not that simple, though, is it? Because if we vote for him to leave, what's he going to say? Oh, OK, off I pop, thanks for everything. It sounds like you've already made up your mind. But I just mean, how are we going to make it work? I will make it work. So you're going to decide if he gets kited off in an ambulance or a hearse, yeah? Can we vote on that or not? Like, if he knows that he's not welcome... No, we ain't even voted yet. Shouldn't it be here, really? Aren't we supposed to fight our own corner? That's the dingo way. He's not a dingo. He's our brother. Yeah, and you took him in and look how he paid you back. Ken, you did tell him that his mum was dead when you knew she was alive. We're all guilty of summit. You made us all look like idiots. Well, some of us are capable of doing that all by ourselves. Has anyone thought about what Faith would have wanted? Everyone in this room has had a second chance at some point. Yeah, and I vote he doesn't get another chance. Well, come on, let's get on with this. Well, not everyone's here, are they? Lydia, Vinny, Mandy, she's in the lakes with Paddy. Yeah, but everyone got the memo, so if they're not here, it's tough. Right, OK, come on, no more messing about. Hands up if he goes. Right, now for those with a bad memory, raise your hands if you want him to stay. I'll, uh, what is it, uh, abstain? What about me, Kane? Do I not get a vote? I know it doesn't... I don't think I've ever seen anything more tragic in my whole life. You really shouldn't be here. Seriously, though, a kangaroo court. Come on. It's a dingle court, actually. I don't know how this goes, but if I'm found guilty, who pulls the trigger? Or is it more of a rope thing? Maybe read the room, love. Do you know what? I don't care about your silly vote. Raise your hands, tick a box. <laughs> it really doesn't matter to me. Yeah, but it does matter to us, son. You've got some front rocking up here like you've done nothing wrong. Mum, you voted twice. But maybe he just wants to set the record straight. Seriously, you're backing him. Look, he smashed the record to pieces. He's been laughing at us. Maybe we should listen to what he has to say. That is normally how this works. Hey, you should have brought your son along. Could have killed two birds with one stone. All right, look, I won't say this again. 
This was never about anyone in this room. I came here for Kim. I wanted to finish her and leave her with nothing. The end. Yeah, and you left us with nothing instead. The end. And it was never meant to go like that. But if you have a problem still, I can fix it in an heartbeat. You just give me the word. <laughs> Our word is never coming. All of you, for everything that's happened, I'm sorry. But like it or not, Kane, I am your brother. And I'm going nowhere. 